everybody, this is Brimster, and this is King Nothing by Rock Rat Zero. Um, yep, still recording my way through the um, KG Constraints Pack, trying to get all of these puzzles recorded. Um, this is me retesting a lot of these puzzles that um, I have been sitting on for well over a year. So this is my way of making sure that I'm comfortable with the puzzles and rating them and putting them in order for the pack and everything. And I figured let's get some videos done because this is the way I'm rebuilding momentum. Um, so I've gone through this rant a lot. Let's just have a look at the puzzle. So King Nothing by Rockrat Zero from KG Constraints. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. I should possibly have said if given, but I, yeah. anyway, um, digits may not repeat within a cage. So um, I may update the rules on this one to state if given, um, because I possibly should go through and look, check some of the other ones as well. Um, because um, a lot of these cages don't have totals, because, for example, this cage does not have a total in it. Um, so we don't know the total of this cage, but we do know, for example, that that digit could not be the same as either of those digits, even though allowed by Sudoku, digits cannot repeat within cages. Cells that are a king's move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. So this is anti king and what it means is for example if i pick that digit there i couldn't put whatever the digit let's say that's blue i could not put blue in any of those cells because a king if this was a chessboard could move to any of those cells so it's sometimes called untouched sudoku um, but any two cells that touch each other in any way so even diagonally cannot contain the same digit um, that's the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's a lot of given sets here. So for example, a six cage, one, two, three are the only digits you can put into a six cage. The minimum three digits I could put in, one, two, three, those are one, two, three. 24, maximum seven, eight, nine, the highest digits, they sum to 24. So they must be seven, eight, nine. 15 cage, the minimum digits I could put in are one, two, three, four, five, because it's five cells. So that must be one, two, three, four, five. There is no other way of doing it. That cell sees every cell in the six cage because those, that in the row, that in the column, that's by king's move. So this cannot be a one, a two, or a three, 35 in five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the maximum of the highest five digits sum to 35. So they must be one, two, three, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a couple of different ways you can do that. The way I tend to do it is we know that all of the digits from one to nine sum to 45. The lowest four digits are one, two, three, and four sum to 10. So if I am to remove four digits and still get to 35, I can only remove one, two, three, and four. But this this cell sees all three of those, that row, that column, and that by um, anti-king. So that can't be seven, eight, nine. That's a five, six. What is going on? So this is one, two, four, and this is seven, eight, nine. Is it this? 13 cage, must it have a one in it? If I don't put a one in a 13 cage, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, two, three, four, five. It's only four digits long. Two, three is five. Two, three, four, five. Two and three. Yeah, two, three, it'd be five. Add, it, add the five, you're at 10. And then you add the four, you're at 14. There must be a one in here. So there's no one here. So one is in one of those two and there's no one here. I don't think I need the two though. So... But there must be a two or a three. If I don't put the two, one, three, four, hang on, I can't, I, I must include a two. Because if I don't include a two, then one, three, four, five is 13. And I can't do, because one and three is four, add the four, you're at eight, add the five, you're at thing. So this, if I don't include a two, this would have to be the minimum digits, one, three, four, five. And the other way to think about this is the five digits, the five digits summing to 15 is one, two, three, four, five. If I took one digit away, which was two, I'd end up with 13. This would be one, three, four, five, and that's not possible. So there must be a two in here. So this is the three, and this is not the three. Now there's no three in here. One, two, four, five 
isn't there. I can't do one, two, four, five. If I don't include, I can't use a three. If I don't include a four, I'm at one, two, five, six. One, two, five, six is 14. So this is one, two, that's if I don't include a four. One, two, five, six. If I don't include a four, one, two, five, six is 11 plus three is too many. So this is one, two, four, six. One, two, four, six is 13, and this is the five, and I can take five out of all of those. That's a six, and I can take six out of all of those, out of all of those. That's very cool. This is now one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. There's no eight or seven there. That's the nine, and I can take the nine out of those. There's no nine there. Nine is in one of those two. That, that's a seven, eight pair. There's no three in either of those. So there's a three in one of those two. There's no two here. That is a one, two, four triple. So that's the six. This nine cage, I may be doing this wrong. I possibly should be looking at this 26 cage and trying to reverse the logic here. But this nine cage, this can't be one eight. It can't be two seven. It could be three six. It can't be four five. So this is three six. And this six makes this the three and this the six. That looks up saying that's not the three. This is the three. This is a one, two, four. So this is a triple. Can't be one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven, eight, nine. There's no eight in either of those. That's the eight. This is a seven, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a five, which puts five up here. Now, this nine cage, it can't be one, eight. It can't be two, seven. It can't be three, six. So this is four, five. That's not the five. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, one, three, six. There's no three there. There's no six there. That's the one. This is the three, six. This is a known triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no three there. Okay, now. Three is in, oh, three in this box. Three can't be in those, three can't be in those, three can't be there. That's the three, and this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. There's no six, nine there. That's the five. Five comes out of there. This is a six, nine. I should look at this, but high digit max is so much harder. Okay. So, must there be a 9 in a 26 cage? If I don't use a 9, then I end up with 8, 7, 6, 5. 8, 7 is 15, 6, 5 is 11. That's 26. But I can't put a 6 in this cage, because that 6 sees all of the... Hang on, this is just a 6 by Sudoku. So I can't use a 6 in this cage. So... It'd be nine, eight, seven, five. Eight and seven is 15. Add nine, you get to 24. Hang on. Nine, eight, seven. Now, hang on. I've got lots of options here. Nine. I can't use nine, eight, seven. Because of that. So what's... If I don't use a nine, I could use nine, eight... Five, four, because I couldn't use seven or six. So what, if I don't use a nine, sorry, it would be eight, seven, five, four. Eight, seven, five, four would be 15 plus nine. Yeah, if I don't use a nine, sorry, I'm t the high maths is so much harder for some reason. If I don't use a nine, I could use an eight. I could use a seven. I couldn't use a six. I then could use a five and a four. These are nine plus seven is 16. That need to be a 10. This doesn't work. There must be a nine in this cage. 
So there's no nine here. So this is the nine, taking nine out of there. So now if I don't use an eight in this cage, what would I have? So I now need three digits that sum to 17. Three digits that sum to 17. If I don't use an eight, I would have seven, five, and four. Seven, five, and four is 16, but I need digits that sum to six. So there must be an eight in here. This is the seven, this is the eight. The seven takes seven out of there. The eight takes eight out of both of those. Now, what is this? I've now got eight and nine in here. So that's 17. I need two digits that sum to nine. Well, I can't use one eight. I can't use two seven. I can't use three six. This is four, five, eight, nine. And if I was better at <laughs> anti-king, I'd be better. These can't be four or five, because if I put a four there, I can't put four in either of those. If I put a five, four, five here, I can't put five in either of those. The same is true for those. Those aren't the four, five. That's the eight, nine. I can take eight, nine out of those. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no one or two there. That's the three. I'm, I know I'm slow at this, but... The one, two, of course, makes that the four and takes four out of those. The four looks down, taking four out of there. I hate it when music decides to just get incredibly loud for no reason. Six makes that the three and that the six. It's a four, five pair. So these are from six, seven, eight, nine. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five has to be in here. So that's the seven, which takes seven out of there. This is five, eight, nine, which means this is not eight, nine. This is six, seven, which looks down taking seven out of there. This is an eight, nine pair. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no three there. Wait, there's something going on here. Seven takes seven out of there. That's a five, eight, nine. So that's the four, that's the two, and I can take two out of those. The three, four looks down, making that the five and that the four, which makes that the five. I'm definitely missing something here. One thing I'm missing is where does this digit go in this box? This digit cannot repeat in the cage, and it's not three or seven. So the six must go in one of those two, which looks across making that the nine and that the six. Which doesn't seem to do that much. This digit is either three. Well, it can't. No, this digit is one of those two digits. Because it can't be any of these. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this can't be six. These can oh, these can't be three. So this is the three. This is the four. These are four, five, six. So this has to be four, five, or six, and it can't be six. So there's a four or a five in there, and I can't see how to resolve that. This isn't a six. This 19 cage is going to come into play at some place, particularly considering that's a triple. There's no four in there. That's the four. That's the five. This is a four, four, six. Okay. Now, that's not a four. Five in this column. I'm jumping all over the place, but it's the way my brain sees things. I think I've mentioned before, I'm a data analyst. I look at large data sets and look for patterns. I don't see these grids as sort of anything other than patterns. So the way the patterns will jump out to me is not the way most people see things. We all solve differently. Five has to be in this column. And it's why my scanning is often so bad. The eight, nine pair means that that's the seven. I could have used that eight, nine pair, but I didn't. Um, the five looks down, of course, now making this the three, which takes three out of here. However, these now have to sum to 16. There's only one way to do 16, that's 7, 9. 
and the 9 makes that the 7 and that the 9. This is a pair. 1, 2, 3 and 5. The 3 here makes that the 5 and that the 3. That 5 makes that the 6 and that the 5. This triple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, 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 no. Let's just make that the 7, and this is now 2 and 8, and I'll use that 8 to make that the 2 and that the 8. Did I use these cages at all? Don't know. Uh, these, well, I need, to, these are 1, 4, and 7, which means that's the 9. I could have used that 7 to do the same thing. There's no 7 in either of those because of these two 7s, so that becomes the 7. This 4 looks down, making that the 1 and that the 4. The 4 looks up, making that the 6 and that the 4. There's an anti-king that's going to have to resolve that, and it's probably going to have to come from that cell. But I can't see it yet. This 7 looks across, making that the 8 and that the 7. This cell is a 1, which makes that the two and takes two out of those. The two looks down taking two out of there. So what is these? Well, I know what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I know what this is. This is the nine taking nine out of there. The six looks across making that the seven and that the six. So this has to be 5 or 8, so it's 8, this is 5, this is 9, this is 8, which makes this 9, this 8, this 9, and this 8. This has to be a 2 now, which makes this the 1 and this the 2, which makes this the 2 and this the 1. The 1 jumps back up, making that the 4 and that the 1, which makes that the 2 and that the 1. The 1 and the 2 look down, making that the 4, which makes that the 1 and that the 2, and that's the solution to the puzzle. 15 minutes and 8 seconds. That's really cool. That's really nice usage of anti-king. And I probably will update the puzzle and go back through, and I'll probably miss some because... Whenever you're doing something like this, you always miss um, getting some details in. And people will complain, but what are cages without numbers in the top left corner? You always miss stuff like that. And I'm really sorry. Um, but yes, um, I'm not going to update the rules above because I've already recorded the video and I'm not going to re-record it. But um, I will update the rules in the puzzle. This is a lot of fun. I love this puzzle. This is really cool. And I really love how people came to to make some beautiful puzzles that just demonstrate constraints. This is a really nice anti-king puzzle. Thank you very much, Rockrat Zero. Really appreciate it. And again, I apologize. I'm going to do this in every video. I'm really sorry I sat on these for so long. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.